Ooh, you helpful bitch, you. You're one helpful, lovely person. So, what have we learned so far? We have learned that you are a loving, funny, helpful person. Because you have loved at least once, told at least one joke, and performed a helpful act at least once. And from that, we can make massive judgments about your entire life. Does anyone see the problem there? Great comfort asks a person if they've ever told a lie. And when people inevitably answer yes, because who hasn't lied in their entire lifetime, Ray Comfort then deduces that that person is a liar. No, that is bullshit. A liar is someone who lies a lot, someone who lies all the time. Only when lying is part of your personality, when it happens regularly, are you a liar. Making massive judgments about someone's entire life because of one instance of lying completely flies in the face of any semblance of Context. You hear that, Christianity? The world isn't black and white. There's also Asian, Hispanic, Pacific Islander. Ha 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 ha! See what I did there? You thought I was talking about good and bad? No. <laughs> I was talking about race. God, I'm edgy. I'm like a fucking hexagon. But seriously, someone who has lied once is not a liar. And by that I mean yes, you can call someone a liar when they lie, obviously, but when you're talking about someone's entire life, they need to be lying all the time. Someone who has lied once in their life is not a liar in the context of their entire personality. Someone who has stolen something is not a thief within the context of their entire personality. And someone who has made the massive moral transgression of looking at someone to whom they are not married and thinking, hmm, that person's fucking hot, is not a goddamn adulterer. Again, the world is not black and white. There are shades of grey, and you cannot make massive sweeping judgments about someone's entire life and the totality of their personality and who they are because of one single act. That is insane. And furthermore, even if you could, that doesn't mean that you deserve hell. Because again, I have to repeat this so often, but what the fuck, let's do it again. Hell is infinite pain for an infinite amount of time. There is nothing anyone could do to deserve that punishment. So sorry, other 4815, and sorry Ray Comfort, but this particular little line of questioning is ridiculous. Please stop.